What's up? This is Nim Non The God Gaming. We're going to do a Modern Warfare 2 movement video today, and I know quite a few people have done this, but I haven't seen any too many YouTubers touch on the actual weapon. Like when I did my research, I didn't see any weapons. They really were just like, oh, run around with a knife. Um, make sure you got your auto sprint on, you know, back and forth. What has to do with the actual person. But you could also, I'm sorry, my tooth hurts. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. Um, sorry about the list. But uh, what I have here is two setups. I have one setup that's regular with no attachments. I have one with the attachments on there. Which, of course, having a lot of weapon con contributes to your movement speed, but also your attachments, which is, most of the time, it's only like one or two of them. So, for uh, the Veil 46, well, let me show you right quick. The subs, the SMGs, of course, all have decent movement speed. But the best is the Veil 46, the Lackless, uh... The Lockman sub could get, you could, I think it's like three things on there you can do with the, uh, you can, con that contributes to the movement speed. But I don't think it, it doesn't get stupid, I don't think, like the Vel 46 or the mini bot, which I'm pretty sure the mini bot don't have that many attachments either. So, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Got the Vel 46 right here. And then you have, uh, I'm going to put attachments on. Oh, okay, so I do have attachments on. Okay, so I'll put attachments on here and show you what I'm talking about. So for the Vel 46, I can shorten the stock. I, I can shorten the stock. Sorry about that. I can shorten the magazine, which also contributes to my movement and handling. And I think the barrel also. Yes, the barrel. Awesome. So, if you wanted something that had more power as a secondary weapon, just in case if you run out and you want a secondary weapon that got a little bit of power to it, and you also move with it like you're moving with a pistol, this would be ideal for that. So I'm gonna change it back to my belt 46 and. With my barrel and shorten my uh, rounds, which pay attention because it increases the mobility and handling, and it uh, goes uh, it takes away from your accuracy and your recoil control. With the uh, with this, I'm not sure. I haven't. I don't know. I think I took, I'll take the magazine, yeah, because these are only bigger magazines, not smaller. So this is the only thing you could do with this, which is the um, barrel and the stock. So even if you try to like go and get mobility and make it, it just doesn't do it. I mean, you can take away from it, but you can't really add nothing to it. it doesn't move. Now you can put the handling up a little bit more. Whatever. But, you know, there you go. So, we're going to go ahead, start a game, and I'm going to let y'all see both of them in action. I said again, sorry about the listing. My jaw is starting to hurt, so I'm going to try to really make this really fast. Damn company. Copy that. Send so, we're going to start out with the regular no attachment to Bell 46 and the M4. Hey, Trump. I saw something. Where's that from? As you can see with the M4, I move 
slightly slower, but not all that much. And just a little tip. If you're trying to go around the corner to get somebody like that, what you could do is set it up straight like this. If you lightly tap it, you'll do a small hop on. If you touch it, if you like really press on it, you'll do a longer jump. But if you want a shorter jump, you can just boom, jump out. Or you could do, do a big jump. Small jump, big jump. So I would try to leave it at least as center as I can. So that way anywhere around you, you see if you keep it centered, anywhere around you if somebody's there, you could boop, snap right on them. You have to do it right when you get around. You don't want to do that. See, I did it like, no, you don't want to do that. You want to already have it snap like that before you even jump around the corner. Like, which is kind of a pain in the butt. I've been working on doing it. Because you got to do it like right at the right moment. Like that. But if you don't want to do this. You don't want to hop around and then. You don't want to hop around. My point is, you don't want to hop around and then try to lock on to somebody. You want to kind of like have it already locking on when you get around the corner like that. Like me, like right before you get around the corner, like up in this area, you want to already have it locked in. I mean, well, not locked in, but aiming down sight right when you get like from here to here. Because then you do that and try to lock in, you're going to get shot up. So if you do it like this, or you can just aim down and jump across. That would be easier like that. But if you try to be smooth with it, you could boom, jump around, already aiming down sight. Anyway, that was just a little tip. I mean, you got the dolphin dive. If you want to get somewhere faster, you can dolphin dive like this. Or you can just regular slide. Me, I press jump, and it looks like a slide cancel. But you have to do it at the right moment, because see, I just jumped. You have to do it like right, right, uh, like a millisecond before you stop. Like that. Other than that, you're going to do this. You're, you're going to jump once you get to the end. Just some little tips right there. But anyway. Pretty good old recoil. I don't think I can blow myself up. So I have to leave the game and start over. I forgot to put some guys in here because they just could have shot me and killed me. And then I just could have just spawned back in with the weapons. But we're doing it like this. I got to back out and do all of this. Sorry about that. I was so quick to get on here because my jaw is like, it's really hurting right now. So I'm going to try to do this really quick and get the hell off of here. So we're going to start back up. Sorry about that, fellas. Or ladies. Or him, her, she. Whichever one you prefer to be called. So now we're going to try with this. moves faster see even when I'm running I'm moving faster than if I would if I had my stock on even just regular running I move faster turning is faster Recoil is a little bit more. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah, the recoil is a little bit more stupider. But, still a pretty good spread. Like I said, you got 
other slots where you can put attachments on to make it uh try to balance it out but as you can see i do move faster whether it's whether i'm in sprint mode or not but as you can see move pretty fast so those are the tips hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry that i had to put you through the whole another process before you can actually see it but uh yeah thanks for watching